Beverly Hills Chihuahuas. Specifically the first one. So our main character is Chloe, a pampered little pooch living in Beverly Hills. Chloe is the dog of a very rich lady, and so she you see her in the beginning, you know, she's at the height of luxury here. She is a Beverly Hills Chihuahua. So they go home and Chloe's mom, Viv, is like, I have to go away on this uh, vacation and my dog sitter canceled because she's pregnant. How could she do that? And do I don't know what to do anymore. And she's talking on the phone to her niece. And her niece is like, yeah, I can do it. I wanna live in a giant, rich, Beverly Hills um, mansion. Her niece's name is Rachel. And Rachel is also one of the biggest main characters. Before all that, we're introduced to what will be Chloe's main love interest, even though she doesn't know it yet, Poppy. And Poppy is the chihuahua of the landscaper. And he is really close with Viv. His dog Poppy is in love with Chloe. Kind of just brushes him aside. And Chloe hates this idea. Rachel doesn't know any of her schedule. Rachel arrives. Why is this dog so freaking pampered? Looking up her like list of things to do. Doggy birthday party. <laughs> Chloe is talking to her dog friends and Chloe's like, God, I just hate her so much. She doesn't care about me at all. I had to miss my doggy nail appointment. How could I get these doggy nails done for the day? Rachel's friend, hey, well, I'm gonna go to Mexico. You should totally go to Mexico with us. So she packs a couple pieces of clothing, she grabs Chloe, she's like, all right, we're going to Mexico. Chloe is pissed off. But obviously she can't stop it because she is a dog. So they go to Mexico and Chloe's like, God, I hate it here. Let me go, please. They get to their hotel. Rachel and her friends are all getting ready to go out for the night. And Chloe's like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. I haven't been fed yet. And Rachel gives her like this little slimy dog food. And she's like, oh my God, that is not the steak that I ordered, sister. <laughs> so she gets mad and she picks up the food and puts it in, in Rachel's shoe. Rachel goes to put her shoes on. She's like, oh my God, you terrible dog, you nasty dog. And then Chloe pretends to be injured as Rachel's friends walk out. They're like, oh my God, Rachel, you're such a mean, bad person. She's like, guys, you don't understand this dog. And they're like, dude, you're crazy. You know what you need to do? Let's go out. Let's go to a club. And so Chloe like sneaks out. But then Chloe gets lost while she gets while she is enjoying Mexico. She's like, yo, it's actually not too bad here. And then she gets dog mad. So she gets sent to like the dog fighting arena. She's like, Dude, I'm like two inches tall, I don't fight dogs. They're like, you'll probably be fine. You're gonna be like, hey, if you want your dog back, you gotta pay a certain amount of money for like ransom. The dog that tells her this, his name is Delgado. And then they take Chloe out of her cell and she's like, oh, am I getting moved to like a more important room? Uh, nope, you gotta fight a big doggy. But the big <laughs> doggy is named El Diablo. It's like, I'm going to eat you. She's like starting to like back up as he's getting closer. <laughs> oh no, oh no, we're really, we're really nervous for Chloe here. Why does it look like I pissed on you? Maybe I did, I got like so excited. Did you have an accident? Well, I did, I'm sorry. Anywho, El Diablo's owner sees like this fancy pretty collar that is made like of complete diamond. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I love diamonds. He's like, guys, once this is over, we gotta get that collar and we're gonna be rich. Except the fight doesn't end because Chloe gets saved by El Tegado. Yes, that is the name. <laughs> Chloe gets saved by Delgado. Oh my God. It's like, it is perfect. Such a feel good movie. So Delgado was like, come on kid, we gotta go. Run away and they're like, free every other dog in here. So they free all of the dogs. Oh, yeah. And they all start running through the streets.
takes this trucking collar out and just puts it on out the other one. Like, Find me that dog. How that is happening? Rachel is like, guys, I just I can't find her. Like it's been like 24 hours. Now we cut back to Chloe in her little box after a really bad night. And this kid sees her. He drops his little churro behind so that she can have a little something to snack on. And she goes to eat it, and these three dogs come up to her and they're like, hey princess, we saw that first. And she's like, no, you didn't. And by the way, you don't want to mess with me because I have had the worst night of my life and if you mess with me, I'm going to eat off all of your limbs. And they're like, oh my god, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> they run away. But it's really the one that they're afraid of. It's El freaking Diablo because you're standing right behind Chloe. And she like, did like this crazy awesome thing. She turns around and goes, oh, I'm going to get away. But all of a sudden, boom. Who comes out? Delgado! Oh! They start running away and they're like, Oh my shark nuggets, we gotta get out of here, bro! <laughs> to a museum and hide in the museum. And El, Di El Diablo can't find them because he's stupid and dumb. We cut back to Beverly Hills. And you know who's in Beverly Hills? Poppy! I smell someone in the house that shouldn't be there. Barks and his owner see one of Rachel's friends in the house. And she's hiding something behind her back and they're like, what do you have there, miss? And she's like, it's this. Send out pictures of Chloe so they can put missing dog posters up. Him and Poppy also go to Mexico to help Rachel. When Rachel goes to the police. And he's doing that. Guess who else is there? Poppy and Sam, who is Poppy's owner, are both there. They all like team up and they're like, fine, we'll find Chloe. Flip back to Chloe and Delgado. Get away by hopping into the back of a truck. Somehow, some way. It's discovered that Gatto lost his smell. And Chloe kind of guesses it, but he used to be an old police dog. Chloe, her kind of only redeeming thing left is her very expensive collar that she has on. So Chloe and Gatto are in a new location. While they're there, Chloe gets approached by this rat and this iguana. They scam the heck out of her. She gives them the collar. And they're like, yeah, get on this boat. You'll be fine. She goes, she runs. She's like, don't matter. I got a ticket out of here. And he's like, you idiot. That boat left forever ago. Like, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. So he goes, hey, new plan. We'll just hop on a train. We'll take you right back to the U.S. No biggie. Sam, Rachel, and Poppy. All of a sudden, they must have gotten a call because the rat and Iguana lost Chloe's collar in a little shop. Chloe and Delgado follow through with this plan and they get on the train. They're kind of talking, this is where we learn Delgado's backstory. So it's one of the, the people who run the train, they come to the cart and look for, like just because they like might have heard something. Because Delgado's like, you stay here, Chloe, I'm gonna make a distraction. He like runs through the whole train and then jumps off of it. And Chloe being the great listener she is, also jumps off the train. They're in, like, oh, okay, we're in the middle of nowhere. And we see some mountain lions. You know, mountain lions chasing them. They're running, they're trying whatever they can do. But unfortunately, they get cornered, and then a pack of little chihuahuas show up and scare away the mountain lions. And they're like, hey, we're a tribe of chihuahuas that are native to Mexico. Come with us. So they go, and it's like the Aztec ruin, and the head chihuahua is like, didn't hear about the chihuahua ways. And they're like, we are tiny, but we are mighty. And then all of the chihuahuas like let out this awesome like bunch of zip barks. And in the morning, the tribe leader chihuahua sends them in towards civilization again. They walk up to this little pet shelter and they see a poster for Chloe, like a missing poster. And she barks at She barks, yeah. They call Rachel and she's like, oh my god, guys, they found Chloe. And so they run over. So they're at the dog shelter. Um, but Chloe has to pee. So one of the officers take her out. Uh, she's like a little shy about it. So he's like, okay, I'll turn it back, I'll turn it back. Rachel and Sam show up and they're like, okay, where's our dog? He comes back and with the with the leash with no dog on it. <laughs> Delgado sees that, but he breaks away and he runs away and he's like trying to sniff, he's trying to sniff, he can't smell. But all of a sudden the rat and the iguana pop out. They like kind of pep talk um, Delgado. And then he's like, that's right, I can. So Delgado takes the color to Sam and Rachel. Not Poppy though, because Poppy is cool and has already gone after Chloe. We cut over to Chloe and she is like in this little cage and they get this temple 
temple. It's like an underground cave. Yeah. He's like, hey, leave my girl alone. He like fights the dogs. Oh, he gets herself out. Uh, Delgado, Rachel, Sam, and like some police people. They all like show up at the temple and they start taking people out. He sees that Poppy's friend. Barks. And it's like the stupidest, it's the stupidest thing. It's like the loudest, most ferocious bark. It's like a lion's roar. Like the temple literally like starts like crumbling down a bit and like shaking. It goes awesome until it doesn't <gasps> because El Diablo grabs her, yeets her against the wall and she's like <laughs> and everyone thinks that she's dead and Poppy's like no, me no, more, me more. Please, please, you're the love of my life. You're the love of my life. He wakes like, up. And he's like, oh, I did it. And then everyone shows up. Delgado, she goes, you know, we could use you back on the force. And he's like, okay. Rachel is happy because, you know, now her aunt will be pissed at her. Except she might if they don't get home on time. <gasps> so they speed up as fast as they can. They get back to the mansion. But Aunt Ben pulls up sooner than expected. So they get Chloe upstairs, they wash her up, they try as hard as they can, they're stalling. And then she comes down, looking beautiful, and like nothing ever happened. Okay. And it fades <laughs> to the end of the movie where, you know, Chloe's chilling, she's with Poppy, and they're like totally gonna have a gazillion kids for the sequel. The end. I thought it was pretty good. There were some parts that were kind of like cringy, but I think that those like a part 2017. I, I enjoyed it. I feel like it would be a fun watch. It'd be the kind of thing that you get your friends together and you're like, we should watch a stupid movie and scroll through Disney Plus and you're like, oh, I've watched Beverly Hills Chihuahua since I was a kid. We should do that. So that's it forever. We're never coming back. Sorry, we're graduating. And thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Um, I would say if you want more, but we're not making more. So, uh, see you later. Hope you're having a good day. The squall enjoyers. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Bye bye!